Hey, I got uh, something I'm working on. My alternator quit uh, charging my batteries. So I went through some uh, procedures to check it out and I come up with kind of stupid from what I was told it could either be the regulator or the alternator, which what it was doing was overcharging. It would shoot up to uh, 30, 30 plus volts and shut down which is what it's supposed to do if it overcharges. Um, but I could not get it figured out what was going on. Um, everything seemed to be right, and a local alternator shop said it's probably damaged somewhere. They can't repair it. Uh, well, they could sure get me a whole new set for $3,000. Yeah. Um, I opted for a... Uh, alternator 24 volt uh, 70 amp alternator um, got off eBay I'm sorry Amazon got off Amazon for 110 bucks and yeah so I'm in the process of doing that if anybody's interested saving a few bucks this is the original bracket um, there's, I believe it's three bolts. The one that was a pain in the ass was the one right behind the power steering pump. You actually have to drop the power steering pump to get to, I believe it's this bolt. But anyway, it was a little more than I wanted to do. I didn't want to take too much off here. Um, but I did get it get it off. And I was going to show you how you can use the original, original bracket, um, what I've done here. Um, there was a lip that stuck out about here. And if I mounted the alternator there, the pulley would have been out um, almost a half inch too far. So I cut that lip off. And, oh, actually, there's a big piece I, ch I chopped off here. Um, and it's aluminum. It cuts. Dr I drilled and tapped this hole because this was solid through here. Uh, 7 sixteenths uh, tap, which is the same size bolt this is. I'll try to hold it up here. That's all I did. I held it there and mocked it up where I wanted it no camera guy let me see I kind of when I took it off I kind of held this up and seen where how I wanted it what I needed to chop off um, and I believe once this is you know, I knocked that out just so it could roll around roll around there I don't I'm not quite sure if I need that yet I think with a smaller pulley it's actually gonna be leaning out leaning out sorry for the one-handed camera crap here but which this originally this oh I had to drill this out uh, I just stepped it up one more size I think it was 7 16 also nope uh, not sure that bolt size anyway yeah I had to open that up for the bolt that goes to the um, top side of the alternator which would be here I think originally, the way this was set up, um, I'm going to have to flip it. Or actually, I'll show you on here, I think. Oops. On here. <laughs> forget where I'm at here. So this bracket originally went like that, I believe. And, oh, it's hard to show you on here. Anyway, the alternator... The original alternator went to the to the front of it, I think, and where mine's going to sit should line up right to the back of it. Um, if not, I'll just make up my own bracket, bend that, or make a new one. But just an option out there. Um, yeah. I read one article. Uh, one guy did it on a 5-ton, and it's worked out good. Um, I only run in headlights, and I don't really see the need for 100 amp, but... I do have a winch, which is running off my 12 volt side. I haven't figured that out yet when I'm going to do there. But um, it's a very, very cheap alternative if your alternator is not charging and you don't have the $1,000 or whatever to pick up one. And I didn't want to risk getting uh, a used one. I seen someone on eBay uh, said tested 600 bucks, but you know, I, uh, I figured I'd go with this option. Um, I'll have a second part of this video I'm going to put on here together when I get done when it's on there and let you know how it comes out. 
Oh, here it is. All lined up good. My new bracket. Had to extend it a little bit and cut it out. Make it where it would uh, work good. Um, I was watching the first part of this video and I just want to clarify some things. I don't edit, I just start recording. Um, so I catch myself saying the wrong things. I just want to clarify some things. Um, uh, first, this is the piece I cut off off the uh, bracket. It's just solid aluminum. I wanted to put that there. Um, yeah, the, the alternator would, when you started it, it would immediately shoot up, spike up, overcharge, and shut down. It wouldn't come back on again unless you uh, turned the key off and back on or pulled the signal wire and reattached it. Then it would uh, spike again and shut down. Um, yeah. So this thing was vibrating all over the place, shaking like crazy. I couldn't figure out why. Um, I just got that figured out. I use this bracket which I wasn't using I was just bolted right to the um, that bracket up there the main bracket uh, but I just cut a piece of pipe and use this original uh, stabilizing brace I guess it's coming off the block which helped now it's not shaking I mean I thought for some, I thought the pulley was not cut right I thought something was out of balance I was I don't know what was going on but that's what it needed so if you do this you'll need to uh, Use that, use that existing uh, bracket back there. And I was just with a piece of pipe here. I would say half inch, I'm not sure, but as long as your uh, 7 16 bolt goes through it, uh, it works good. So yeah, that's it. Don't look too bad. Um, you could have, uh, instead of cutting this bracket, you this uh, adjusting bracket, you probably could go with uh, two shorter belts um, to get those belts off there is a hydraulic hose in there that you have to take off going to the clutch fan um, and then those belts will slip over the the fan I just some re oh sorry about the zoom here for some reason I thought <laughs> just extending my bracket would be a little easier I like welding stuff so um, I've heard a nightmare is trying to get your hand in there, trying to get that uh, hose off, so I didn't want to deal with that. People taking the radiators out, hood off, everything, so, uh, yeah. Or if you wanted to mock it up with the original pulley, that would bring it in, back in. Um, you'd just have to cut that, you'd have to cut more off of that main bracket and reset, um, recess that alternator back, back a little more. Yep. Trying to make this video longer. I think I do a bunch of short videos. Hopefully, I that's a little more information for you. Um, yep, that's it. Maybe we'll give it a start. If you want to see that. That's just the voltage to my back battery. Um, it is a 24 volt alternator. I'm just reading voltage going to my radio and stuff. All right, that's it.